Alan Jeans and Robert Walls talking about the clash with Sam Newman. Well, first to you, Alan. I know it's only early days in the 85 season, but your side is uh, just hanging in there at the minute. What do you think is missing from the side this year as opposed to last, if anything? Oh, just some of the players have played very well last year, not performing as well. That's it. But uh, I thought in the first half yesterday we turned the corner, but we slipped it back a bit in the second corner. Now, Tuck and Matthews playing at full forward and uh, changing on the ball at ruck roving. Do you think you can get away with that for the year? Oh, well, um, you know, we've got flexible, the players are quite flexible and to move them around, we've done that before and uh, we thought with Matthews yesterday, he's been down a bit on form, they'd have a run on the ball and give him a bit more freedom and um, he enjoyed that and uh, I think he played well. Now, Robert, your uh, side is almost unrecognisable, their play from the latter half of last year to the start of this year. To me, yesterday, it looked as though there wasn't, you might disagree with this, a lot of spirit out there yesterday. They looked to be almost playing for themselves rather than as a side. Do you uh, have any comment about that? I think you're right. Uh, I don't think we played very well as a team, uh, certainly not for the four quarters. I think there were two or three players who were looking after their own interests and not the team's. And uh, as coach, well, I, I find that unacceptable. I think if you're going to be successful in league football, you have to play as a team. And uh, I definitely agree. We had two or three players who were playing for their individual egos at stages throughout the game, not the entire game. And I think they need to uh, have a look at their priorities and put the team first. Now, not necessarily uh, just leading on from that, and this is a coincidence that this is the next question. Michael Conlon did some very undisciplined things yesterday, which is not really his, uh, not really his form. He's usually quite a disciplined player. But he didn't want to come off the ground when you uh, sent the runner out. What was your attitude to that? Well, I wasn't happy that he didn't come off straight away, but uh, it didn't take long before he did come off. And then you took a boy off Cross. You took Cross off to get him back onto the ground. I Cross, thought he... Cross came off with an injury. Injury, was he? Fair enough. Now, Bacanara, Alan, uh, I, I think he was playing on the half back line. I couldn't actually work out where he was playing for most of the most of the day. You put him onto the forward line towards the latter stages. What are you trying to do with him? What is his role in the side? Well, he started off in the centre yesterday, Sam, and uh, played there till <coughs> he ran out of a bit of condition. And uh, then we put him on the half forward flank. And uh, Bacanara is a very good player, and he's really coming back from a serious knee injury. And um, you know, and I think he's gradually getting there. I think his first half was reasonably good and uh, he just dropped away a bit in condition and uh, I think once he gets his real confidence back in his knee and uh, develops a bit more stamina, I think he'll be get back to his former did, great did, play. Did you start him in the centre? Actually in the centre, did you? Yes. And Wallace wasn't designated for that position. He was a ruck rover, was he? He was a ruck rover. I just want to ask you just one question, Robert Pert. You took him, he was on three opponents for the in the first quarter, you had him on three different opponents, and then you took him off the ground to speak to him and put him back on after 30 seconds. What was the what were you trying to get him to do? Oh, I thought he'd made a mistake, and I just wanted to let him know what the mistake was uh, when he came back on and went to centre half back. I thought he played a lot better. And uh, I don't suppose you know Ken Judge didn't tell you what happened to his opponent. You didn't uh, find out from what happened to him after the game, did you, Alan? Did he did you faint? Ask or? Him, Sam? Well, I would have. He's not here. I thought well, you might have asked him, and you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you, Robert. Robert and Alan, we have the diet coke. Who wants that? Do you want the diet coke or not? All right. Do you have enough worries? Are you all right? Too? I'm all right. Diet coke, diet coke. Valentine's cheese, the tasty cheese, also four and twenty pies, and. Once again, we have some Bataki, we have the ham. It's a beautiful ham. You, you tried that, haven't you? Yeah, it's all right. It's beautiful. It's very you like it? Very Love very it. Very it's a ripper. Checking the voting in the Canberra Club Award from the clash yesterday between the Hawks and the Lions, Quinlan, Barwick and Hallis for Fitzroy, whilst for Hawthorne, Russo, Ede and Russ Green. In the progressives at Fitzroy, Bernie Quinlan, a very handy leader, and Russo has taken the lead out at Hawthorne.